Thank you, Excel, for presenting the general aspect of the theme. Uh, I will be able to talk about uh, here about data extension. Sorry for the cookie here uh, about data extension solution between uh, Kubernetes annotation and uh, all this type. So uh, I don't present all Kubernetes annotation, but just talk about uh, Alvisao. It's uh, what you see here. It's Alvisao. It's just an online uh, annotation editor to perform annotation of uh, on text document. It uh, allow users, for example, to here annotate document using ontologies and uh, edit ontology on the fly. It uh, allow uh, something like uh, annotating uh, relation and entities on, on a text document. It's uh, used, it is a tool used to organize an uh, annotation campaign. For example, uh, we use it to create the data sets that some of the data sets use it on the binary test the challenge, the CDEV and the bacteria bait of, bait of uh, task. The functionalities of uh, Alvisai are the general one we find in the annotation uh, annotation editor, visualize and annotate entities and relation of text document. Here it use ontology. We can use we can link annotation to concept of ontologies by adding on the fly concept to the ontologies and modifying it on the, on the fly. The tool enable to manage the life cycle of the annotation campaign. For example, creating uh, the campaign, adding users, adding documents, and adding on workflow of task to to get to define what had to be done by the users. It uh, in general allow users to do the job in a collaborative way. Okay. And uh, Alvis is uh, connected to another tool, Alvis NLP, uh, NLP and machine learning is another tool that allow to apply some kind of uh, workflows to for automatic tasks, for example, automatic annotation of uh, of text document before the manual annotation that is done by expert. Okay, that is uh, Alvisaya. So the architecture of Alvisaya is a client server platform that is composed of two main components: a web server that implements some kind of REST operation, for example, to access the the content to manage the storage and the access of the con to the content of the annotate related to the annotation. And we had another component that is the web application client. It's just on the user interface, for example, that offers the interface for the user to log in, access and visualize component and visualize <coughs> annotation. The two components uh, exchange their data using a JSON format, like uh, we see and all the other tools. So here, what I want to do is just to make all this I and Kube annotation interoperable by implementing a data extension solution. And what is the, the idea is here to enable users to share annotation from Alvisaya to Kube annotation and to access the content, the documents that are into Kube annotation in order to complete by putting some annotation or adding an annotation. An example of users may be here to get access to documents that are into paper annotation and do some annotation tasks and get back the document to paper annotation, for example. And in general, the, the benefit may be uh, to facilitate the creation of the of annotation and the share, sharing of annotation between uh, Users and you know, and general the annotation always use uh, content that you want to share and you want to, to 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 develop and to create. And for this, the plan is uh, I have think about the task I, uh, we have to do here is to assure the conversion of content between the previous annotation and Alvisai here. They think to do are uh, to define the mapping between the JSON format of Kube annotation and the format used into 
in 12 desire. That mean uh, after that to implement a converter, for example, uh, content that are in 12 desire, how to convert them to the Tiba notation format and how to, how to from the Tiba notation format, how to uh, add some document and some annotation into Alvisa in order to work on them. Another task is after that, that blast on the first one to define the undertake an expense policy, policy or protocol, define the characteristic of the import or export. For example, when a user wants to import document or an annotation from Tiba notation, what, how can you do, do that? That mean after that can be used after that to implement the operation as the rest code, for, for example. Here we will use the existing work. Uh, the rest uh, operation that are implemented into this app and split by the rest a key of Tiba uh, notation. The third task will be to just add a trigger interface for, for the user from Alvisire to access to the interface to import and export content from Tiba annotation and to export them to Tiba annotation. Uh, the material uh, we'll use here is the source code that is of Alvisire is on GitHub and the web, some of the information we may need here is the web server web service that component that is based on a framework or all the framework based on Excala. And uh, what I have prepared here is a Docker image we may use to deploy the LVCA component to test the implementation of, of this. Thanks. Thank you for